Hello, I'm Cody Gregory. Uh, we've been out here in the shop for about a little over two hours. We built two hammers. We weren't super fast at it by no means, but it was a good time. We got, it was a good time. We've got a pretty good sized clinker in this fire. Um, I've been pretty fortunate with this fire pot. This fire pot's about five years old and it just has a small crack in it. Uh, two things I think that are the reason for that is I've got a half inch plate to hold it. And what that does is it acts as a heat sink, so it doesn't allow it to heat up too fast, it doesn't allow it to cool down too fast. And I think that's what helped keep it uh, from cracking. The other thing it is, is I always clean it out when I'm done. Um, that clinker stays inside there, it solidifies, and as that steel shrinks, it's going to put pressure on it. If you ever clean a clinker out on a cold fire pot, you know how much pressure is being held in there. So I always clean it out, I build my fire up, turn it down, and that allows for more even heat and allows it to cool down a little slower. Now to clean the fire. The biggest thing about cleaning a fire is if you maintained your fire, kept Wilson alive, then you'll have a nice fire or a nice clinker to come out. If you let your fire hollow out so it looks like a spot where a chicken could lay her eggs, then you're not going to get a very good clinker. So I'm just going to come in the corner, start at one corner, come over here. Same corners on a round fire pot. I'm used to having a square one at the horseshoe in school. So. And I'm just going to kind of lift up nice and easy. And if everything goes well, we'll get ourselves a nice little donut. Toss it inside a metal bucket. And then the next thing that I do, is I go ahead and fill the pretty size fire back up. I'll turn it on. I'll let that build up. And whenever it fills up, then I'll shut it off. That allows for more even heat, allows everything to cool down a little slower. I think those two things are what's kept my fire pot from cracking and breaking up on me.